Sunday morning about 6.30. I'm headed to Malibu Cars and Coffee. Completely forgot about the time change, so I got up at 3 this morning as opposed to 4. So I've been working for about three and a half hours. You know. But I'm all good now. Got it worked out. Got it figured out. People show up today for the show. Uh, it is daylight savings, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that has screwed up. But one day more uh, here in Malibu, then tomorrow morning early, I head out to Las Vegas for the SEMA show, and it's going to be a spectacular show. Got a ton of meetings and a ton of interviews, all kinds of stuff I'm going to be doing. So if you're going to the SEMA show, uh, shoot me a, a, an email through Facebook or a regular email. Malibu Cars and Coffee with Pamela and Ron Costa, and you guys have a, ph a phenomenal car. I mean, it's gorgeous. But you come in, into a place like this, and it's it's a very hard thing because it's like going to the toy store. You can't really decide what your favorite car is. You're absolutely right. Okay, but how long have you had this Mercedes? About a year and a half now. Okay, and why this car? This car, I guess, checked all the boxes for me. Uh, I've been raised around muscle cars my entire life. I've always wanted an exotic. I consider this kind of the sledgehammer of the exotic world. Right. I had really unique look and on top of that it's got the doors <laughs> so <laughs> that's the selling point so if, you, if you're on the fence about the car the moment they open the car you're done uh -huh. yeah exactly you're done. Yeah. okay so in contrast what was your first car my first car was a 1974 Datsun my dad and I were hanging out together he happened to be talking to a co-worker the co-worker of my dad was towing this little 1974 Datsun pickup truck to the junkyard and so on the way home I asked my dad hey can I have that, that truck and he says what do you want that truck for? It doesn't run. I said, well, maybe I can get it to run. So he says, tell you what. He says, I'll have it towed to the house. This is on a Friday. I'll have it towed to the house. He says, uh, if it's not running by Monday morning, I'm towing it to the junkyard, and you're paying the tow bill. So <laughs> Talk about motivation. Yeah. Your first car. It was a 1988 Pontiac Grand Prix SE. <laughs> that's a little painful. Yeah, that's, that's why painful. I cringe. Yeah. Uh, I'm loving the Aston Martin Repeat it right now. OK. Was that is that here? No. Is there one? No, there's, no, there's a, a DBS. That's the four-door. That's right. It's, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. It's yeah. Yeah. But it's not this car. No. Okay. We're going to go check this out. Yeah. Awesome. Okay.
uh, car some coffee this morning, got to meet some really cool people, which is what it's all about. Some amazing cars. I'm uh, gonna head back to the pad now. Don't know what's going on, but I, I do know that Kathy is heading out with Isla today to do some bridal shopping because she's getting married. Uh, Kathy's not getting married. She's my wife. She's already married. Isla's getting married. Not till next year, but you know how how girls are. Uh, they want to get the jump on things, so they're gonna go downtown LA and buy some wedding stuff. That means I'm a free agent, baby. I also want to mention that um, there's a lot of vloggers out there uh, who are doing some really cool stuff, but one guy in particular, his name is Keo Kane. Uh, he is vlogging from Asia. He, this, this guy is doing some really interesting stuff, having a blast. Uh, I want you guys to be able to check him out. I'll put him in the show notes, link him uh, down there and up here. Uh, check out his stuff. He's got a Google Plus Hangout and a, a Google account, Twitter, and all that kind of stuff. Very cool guy. fabric for her wedding dress. Ooh. She must be excited. I don't know. She's not here. <laughs> <laughs>